Hey guys, welcome back to my channel AG Motion Designs. And in today's video, we are going to create this creative text animation inside of After Effects without using any third party plugin. So, if you are new to this channel, then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates. So, without wasting any more time, let's get started. So here we are in Adobe After Effects. Let's create a new composition. We will call it as Main Animation. And width I'm going to choose 1920. Height let's say 180. Frame rate is 30 second. And duration we are going to choose this red color only for our reference and hit OK. Then I'm going to create Control N to create another composition. And I'm going to name it as C as an alphabet C and uh, height i'm going to choose 300 and width we are going to choose 200 and frame rate is 30 and duration is also same and hit ok now over here as you guys can see we are going to play around with these two words which is cool and move so out of which we are going to first create one entire composition for this alphabet c so this is that then uh, press ctrl y to create one solid background layer and i'm going to choose white color and simply hit ok then we are going to select our text tool and I'm going to type my text. I'll type text C over here and for the color I'm going to choose uh, I mean black color and uh, Oswald font I'm going to choose. Now select this text, press Ctrl Alt Home to align that anchor point to the center. Go to the Align tab, align it horizontally and then align it vertically. Press S for scaling option and scale it somewhere around like this. Okay, then select this move and I mean this C, hit Ctrl D hit enter and let's call it as o and hit ok double click to open this and we will change this text to o then i'm going to select this o and i'll hit ctrl d to duplicate it uh, over here we are not going to change because it's, if you can see we have two o over here then select this o hit ctrl d hit enter and let's call it as l uh, double click to open this and let's change this text to l like this then select this l hit ctrl d hit enter and let's call it as m and uh, double click to open this and change this text to M okay like this uh, as you guys can see we have this over here so select this if you want then you can adjust the size little bit not too much then select this M hit ctrl D hit enter and let's call it as O3 because we have already this O and this O so hit enter double click to open this and change this to O then hit ctrl d hit enter and let's call it as v double click to open this and change this text to v like this select this sorry uh, select this v hit ctrl d double click to open this and select this hit enter and let's call it as e select this text layer and let's call it as e so our basic animation is ready now let's go to the main animation and we will bring our c over here like this now select this c over here and I'm going to select my rectangle selection tool because we need to create one mask on it. So go to the uh, choose grid and guide option and hit on title selection. So now as you guys can see this is properly at the center. So let's create mask from here to here. I'm going to create one mask on this like this. Okay. Then select this and hit ctrl D to duplicate it. Press M and let's make this mask inverted. Now select this first layer which is this one. I'm going to select this I'll press Y to choose my pen behind tool and I'm going to move this anchor point over here like this and if you want then you can properly adjust at this point over here okay then select this one and by holding control I'm going to move this first of all over here then make sure that it should be properly over here so this is for this now uh, hit U let's select both the this layers and hit control D and let's bring them at the bottom and change the color of this one to yellow so it would be easy for us to determine that this is a save different layer now after that uh, if you see over here uh, be, uh, after c we need this text m over here so what we are going to do we will select this m then we will select these two layers and by holding alt i'm going to replace this with this m okay so first we have this c and behind that we have this m and this m is also divided into separate portions Okay, now select all of these layers and let's convert them into 3D. 
first of all i'll focus on this c and this c and press r for rotation and as you guys can see we need to rotate it on y axis so create i mean x axis so create one keyframe at x rotation and hit u then zoom in go to around one second and for this one let's say we need to let's focus on this one over here let's select this and we need to focus um, make this rotation in positive direction so i'm going to make this one complete rotation so if i see we will get this kind of rotation then i'm going to enable this one over here then go over here and let's make this minus one over here like this so if you see we will get something like this now select those keyframes and hit f9 to easy ease those keyframes so if you see this animation you will get something like this then we will enable this m and this m i'm going to select those layers press uh, r for rotation and let's create one keyframe at x rotation and one keyframe over here then go to around two seconds again for this one uh, i'm going to choose one rotation uh, in plus and for this one it should be minus one okay so let's disable this for now so if you see this animation over here similarly you will get something like this now select those keyframes and hit f9 okay but uh, now let's enable all of them but if you see uh, we will get some weird stuff over here which we don't want and also we need this thing in the form of loop so for that we need to do certain adjustments so hit u so you can see those stuff now uh, let's go to the start and let's see now from this point uh, this c should be at the backward of this m so what i'm going to do i'm going to select these two layers first of all you can, if you want then you can change the color of them so it would be easy for you to understand these are two separate alphabets then at this point i'm going to press ctrl shift d to split this layer and we are going to move this behind this m over here which is means over here like this so now what will happen it will go out uh, after that like this then at this point over here uh, i want this m should go behind this c so what i'm going to do uh, let's say somewhere around over here i'm going to select this and this then i'll press ctrl shift d to split this layers and i'll bring them backward okay like this and then i'll go over here and i'll hit n and now if you hit play you will get this continuous animation like this okay so simply hit ctrl a to select all of them and press ctrl shift c to pre-compose this and we will name these layers as c dash m so we can understand that inside this we have this two alphabets c and m and simply hit ok like this and let's close all of this stuff we don't need that at least for now but before that let's go inside the c over here and we are going to select this c uh, this m over here let's go to the effect and presets panel and we will search for tint effect and simply double click to apply and swap these colors and now i'm going to select this tint effect uh, i'll hit ctrl c i'll select this m and i'll hit ctrl v then i'll select this m layers and hit ctrl v over there also so if you see now you will get something like this and select all of them and you can enable the motion blur so you will get something like this okay so now uh, we have the c and m over here hit ctrl 0 to open the project window and hit ctrl d to c and m and now over here we need this o and this o so simply select this and hit enter and let's call it as o dash o and hit ok double click to open this and now we have to replace those layers so those who are with c i'm going to select them by holding ctrl and then i'm going to select this first o and by holding alt i'm going to replace it then i'm going to select this m and this m then i'm going to select this second o and by holding alt i'm going to replace it so we will get this kind of stuff again i'm going to select this o dash uh, o, o comp select this hit ctrl d hit enter and let's see what we want we have o and v so select this hit enter and let's call it as o dash v and hit enter and simply double click to open this then we already have o so we don't need to replace that over here we need to replace with v so i'm going to select those which are yellow and select your uh, v comp uh, let's see where is v yeah we have the, the top simply by holding alt we will replace it so if you hit play we will get something like this then last one is remaining is l and e so simply select this o dash v and hit ctrl d hit enter and let's call it as l dash e and hit ok and simply double click to open this then select l 
select this o and this o this o and this o and by holding alt i am going to replace it then select this v this v this v this v and replace it by holding alt i am going to replace it like this okay like this now let's go to the main animation curve we already have c over here so let's go to the start and let's move this text over here then we will bring our oo so simply move this over here and let's select both of them and select both of them by holding control it i'll select all of them and i'll move this over here then we will need which is o and v so simply select o and v and move this over here and adjust it like this then select l and e and move this over here like this okay so we will get something like this so if you hit play now you will get this continuous animation so i'll go to around two seconds over here hit u and make sure that you are properly at the end keyframe and hit ctrl a to select all of them hold alt close bracket and let's let's keep it as it is we don't need to change anything let's increase the duration and now uh, what we want that they should start alternately animate so i'll go to the five frames i'll select this o and i'll move this over here go to 10 frames select this move this over here go to 15 frames select this and move this over here like this then we will go to um, somewhere around over here uh, and select all of them and hit ctrl d and let's bring them at the top over here and we will try to move them over here like this then again we will go to the last hit ctrl d let's bring them at the top and again we will move them over here again hit ctrl d let's bring all of them at the top and let's move them over here like this and now at this point i am going to hit n and then somewhere around over here i am going to hit d so now you will get this kind of continuous looping text animation like this and now uh, hit uh, u or simply select all of them and press ctrl shift c and we will name it as text animation and hit ok then press ctrl y to create one solid background and let's bring this downwards select this layer go to the effect and presets panel and search for drop shadow effect and simply double click to apply increase the distance to 30 uh, increase the softness to 100 and change the opacity to 20 or let's increase the distance to 50 let's say and change the color of this one to bluish one like this okay so along with this you can create this kind of animation which is in the form of loop so yep this is how you can create this kind of text animation inside of after effects so i hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial and if you like this tutorial then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates and if you want to create some more interesting animations like this then check out these two videos i'll see you in my next video until then stay tuned